don't think she wants to go. Come on, Dougie. Well, I don't want to go out there either. I think we got around two and a half, maybe three inches of rain. South of here, like three grain bins, or three different farmers had grain bins fall over. Four that I know of. Oh. Well, just looking out here at our rye field, there's a really big puddle. It's a low spot, but it's really wet. And we, as far as we know, we didn't really have any hail. So. Well, but, but not we, here. All we know is right here hitting the house and... Yeah. Yeah, so we gotta feed the cattle, of course, and we're gonna head out and brave the storm. I'm gonna put these in the mailbox. All right. And then I'll meet you in the shed. In in the big shed? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, along with, the yard don't look bad, but it somewhat drains. Along with people losing grain bins, there were a lot of power lines that went down, and so we lost power. And this tractor is running our generator, which is generating electricity, obviously. But here's a look at the rye field right there. Right there. And it's wet. Yeah, there was some big wind last night. And it's, my phone says it's going to be raining for another like six hours, which really sucks because obviously we don't need more rain. I guess you could say that's no longer Lake Sunny. And that that's now Lake Sunny. Do uh, small lakes flow into oceans? Or rivers flow into... Is that like an estuary? Is that what that is? Something that it's feeds something. a bigger... It's something. Yeah. Estuary. The cattle seem hungry. Yeah, let's feed them. All right, look how fast those clouds are moving. They're going back to refill. Uh, they're empty, so they're rushing back. Son of a gun. Oh, I was hoping if I opened a different door, it'd be nicer outside, but it ain't. The good news is we got all of our hay home, everything baled, and there's nothing laying on the ground. The bad news is we may have had 100 acres get flooded out last night. Let's feed some cattle. Let's go see how much is in the gauge. Okay. Are you going to walk or are you going to hop in? The traffic today. Good gracious. Hey, you see that mound of dirt out there? That's pretty clean to drill out. Yeah. You can see how much right, right there. All right. Okay, here's your one inch. Yep. You dump that out. Then you grab the rest of it. They don't have a spout on it. No. There's your two inch a little left and a fly was there any flies last night yeah cats dogs flies so two seventy there ain't nothing like brian's farming videos had to deal with what did he get i i thought they were at like four or five. Oh, we had that last year we had all kinds of rain uh it's it's getting a little late for us to be uh replanting plus you know, by the time the drowned out spots do dry up, it'll be way too late, so. Screw it. <laughs> it could be worse, though. There's Lake Sunny. Our buildings this time. I bet that culvert we put way out back is doing its job. I wish it was doing more. Yeah, it, it ain't gonna do nothing up here. Should we go look at it? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess we're not. They drilled a lot of that. Well, it takes a few hours for it to go down, you know. It's moving a field gallons. So we have our last five pairs in here. They got a really, yeah, that's a bad pen. But we have this building. And so, you know, this, this is a good pen when you don't get three inches of rain. It's a bad pen when you do. So I'm going to open the building up, and then that way those five calves and those cows can hang out in there and be dry. There you go. And that's why we put a mound out there like that. So they always got somewhere to go.
every time we pull out that generator, Dad has to tell a story about the day he got it. I'll have to ask him if he'll if he'll tell that story again. I've heard it way too many times, but you might want to hear it. A little water in there. Let's see if we can get that to drain. Oh, that stuff stinks. is fed. Jeez. I'm on concrete. Who poured this? Don't drain good. Uh, we are. We're done with feeding. We're probably going to go do some field work. Probably not. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we can find some damage. I mean, there's some grain bins flying around somewhere, which really sucks. I feel bad for those that lost grain bins. I'm sure you kids... Some of you remember having not unlimited texting and your parents probably yelled at you when you went over. He used to always go over on our talk minutes, but I guess he wasn't in trouble. But if we went over on our texts, he did pay the bill though, so. Here's our first field of corn. You can see they're a little tilted, but not seen any broken off. They're not stripped either. Yeah, so we didn't get hail on this field anyway. It, lo it looks all right. Hopefully they're stronger now. You know, if they if they were three, four foot tall and this was the first big rain, they green stuff might be some damage. That was pretty interesting. Yeah. So we we're in Jeff's garage, hanging out. He said he got a message from the. From you can the, get your foot in the door and it hurts. Yeah, I'm sure. You got a message from the power electric company. What's it called? Central. The electric company. Central, oh, is that a show? Central Electric, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Back when you had to turn the handle to make the television work. Uh huh. And they said they're, they are aware of over 100 poles that are broken. And so I think Dad was starting to say, yeah, it might be a while. And then bam, Jeff's power came back on. I was wrong. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we have our power. Yeah, he's on a different line or something like that. So we might, we probably don't have power at our place. But Jeff does, which his generator's over at our place with that portable welder. So it's nice that we don't have to bring that back over here. Plus, the calves have the drinker, and the bad thing about it, oh, boy, show them our bean field. And there's Dad's first impression. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Jeff tilled that and we got it planted. Yep. All that water. Cool. Oh, doesn't look like they're going to get a raise this year. But here's a nutty bar. Our barbed wire is holding. Holding the water. So that's good. That looks wet. I bet you there's someone typing right now. Never, never drive through water going over the road. Yep. That's true. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, especially if you don't know the road, but I kind of know the road. So. <clears throat> Been through that a few times. Best friends? Best friends of the road? Slappy's best friend. Oh, okay. That's our worst damage, don't you think? This tree? We haven't seen everything yet. Yeah, it's that. true. Yeah, and then there's branches way out there. So, I guess... I guess the hired man, aka Cole, has to go out there and clean them up before harvest. Love that guy. No, they're stopping. Uh, is that supposed to be like that, Dad? I, looks like we got help coming here. Oh, oh holy shnikes. Are, they got poles. And we might be in their way. Yeah. Help is on the way. Oh, that one that pole might get you. <laughs> Valley will come outside. Oh, you're under there. That's a first. Come on. It's okay. Yeah. She hasn't went to the bathroom for a good 14 hours. So I got to run to town, run a few errands, and there is some 
power lines that are down that I think we're gonna drive by and we'll see we'll see what that looks like maybe they already got them back up but there's a lot of crews running around trying to get things going hey are you okay is that the world's only corn palace holy cow yeah, can I get two beef and cheddars and two chicken cheddar ranches? Anything else? No, that'll be it. Thank you. Where's the Arby's. They have the meats. Yikes. There, there just ain't too much going on today. I could go swimming, but it's kind of cold. So right now we're going to hook up the flatbed. And I'm going to go to Huron, grab some oil well. Because we got some projects coming up. Probably tomorrow, Jace. Probably tomorrow we'll be welding up some gates and maybe doing a little torching. The thought process here is, well today, I'm gonna spend about 300 bucks on oil well and we'll be able to make at least five gates with that. When you compare it to one of those Sioux gates, which is right there, a brand new Sioux gate is like 300 bucks by itself. What I, what I like is that I get to make it the size that I want it to be exactly, and we can make a lot of lot more gates for a lot less money. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, you're so strong. I guess since the camera's rolling, I'll put these safety chains on. Okay. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go spend your money. Yeehaw. But I'm also gonna make gates for you. you. Know, yeah, and I appreciate that. I just want to go watch an auction online and sit in the house. For well, go ahead. I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, that is way bigger than I thought. I don't know if that's the right stuff. Yeah. We wanted six of these. We got six of those. If I would have just left, I would have made a few hundred dollars today. Oh, that is wonderful. better keep it strapped down overnight that way they don't blow away or nothing this is ridiculous it's like 3 30 p.m. generator still running powers not back on but like I said there was over a hundred poles that were broken last night well, we got the power back on central electric just pulled in they said it's good to go so we got power our pressure cooker was running. I hope that didn't restart. Hopefully we don't burn our supper. That grade isn't the best. See, these pens and these lots are in really poor condition now. The good news is a lot of this is gonna start soaking in and next week we're getting temperatures in the 80s so I do think in less than two weeks, these pens will be looking about how they were looking earlier. That pen, you can see a really high mound right there, another mound here, and then these guys got a pretty nice mound right there. So especially in two days, they will have dry spots to lay indefinitely. The weather's looking good. couple days dad and I have been working on a couple projects including fixing these gate entrances looks like right here is lacking 
but we did fill that. We tore it all out. We put railroad ties. I got a video of how it looked after we set the railroad ties in. Gravel crushed rock, so that'll be really nice. Jeez, it's a lake back there. And then also that really bad one that we needed to get done down there, which was the worst one on the farm. We did that one. I've fixed five gates so far. And that those were the five that we, I mean, we thought we'd do at least three, but we got all five done. And so that's really nice. And here's some video of how that one looked over there after we set in the railroad ties, after we dug the mud out. I don't know if it was worth it. Are you sure there isn't mud on my face? There is. He lied. That side, oh, it? I said this side, not this I side. So that side. you have okay. a big honker in the way. The nose, the snoz. Have... You have a big old snoz. That's rude. Yeah, you got man. This guy. I gotta live with. You can probably get that fixed. So anyway, we're doing uh, Slappy's a uh, good deed today and keeping them dry. Mm -hmm. So I went with sticky. I forgot to mention, oh. so earlier I was saying how I was talking about something, but that's okay. That we were using the generator and generator. how every time we use that generator you tell the story, story. about how you, you know, about you bringing it home. So Okay, wanna hear it? Yeah. Or you want them to hear it. You've heard it. Yeah. Like every time we've used it. Yes, is, go. It's about eight or ten times. But anyway, Tammy and I first married. I go to a farm sale. I bring home a bale porta feeder. I don't know, three, four things. But one of them was this portable generator that cost $220. Whopping. That was back when... When that was like a million, yeah. And and you actually had to... They were shekel, shekels. You know, there was no cash. There was no paper money back mm -hmm. then. My arm's getting tired. Okay. So anyway, bring that stuff home and, and she's like, what's that thing for? And then it sat in the corner of the shed for like five years. But then... For nine days one winter, we used it, and she kept warm. And I've never let her forget it. And I have to mention to her again tonight that remember that time I bought that generator? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So that's been a good buy. Yeah. What? You got no, I was, I'm just happy that I remembered to ask you about that because I mentioned it like way at the beginning. Well, the I'm day. happy that you asked me because I wanted to tell the world that I'm not always wrong. Mm -hmm. So uh, we didn't do too much today, but there was a lot of water, and it was stormy. And the power's back on, which is pretty like awesome. Like Snoopy says, it was a dark and stormy night. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully you didn't completely hate this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. But we could talk more. I Have got, a good one. I got lots of stuff to say. My talk. arms are tired. Okay. Have a good one. What's up? The cows are fed. That's good. Yikes.